Have you ever gotten a super high optimization score in Google Ads, but your leads are still super expensive, you're still struggling to sell products on your Shopify store, and you know there's a massive bill from Google Ads just around the corner, and you've got no idea how you're gonna pay for it. If this sounds familiar, and if your optimization score is super high, then why is this happening? And that's exactly what I wanna talk about today. Now, if you're brand new here, what I want you to do is check out my new Google Ads community. It's called the Feedback Circle. And what we do in there is we do weekly trainings, we do landing page roasts, there's a bunch of memes, and I'll talk more about that towards the end of the video, but there is a link in the description down below if you wanna check it out. All right, so why is this happening in the first place? Why is Google making you focus on optimization score when optimization score is not really impacting your ad performance whatsoever? Well, I wanna tell you a funny story. I remember when I was a kid and I used to watch these cartoons on TV and there was always a guy on a wagon and he was always trying to get a donkey to pull a cart. But the problem with donkeys are they are as stubborn as donkey so the donkey really doesn't want to move it doesn't want to work it doesn't want to do anything so the guy on top of the wagon or on top of the cart used to dangle a juicy carrot in front of the donkey now obviously the donkey wants to eat the juicy carrot and what happens is the donkey looks at the juicy carrot and it starts moving forward trying to basically bite the juicy carrot but when the donkey moves forward it also pulls the cart forward and basically the guy with the wagon always hangs that juicy carrot just far enough away from the donkey's mouth so that the wagon moves forward. This is exactly the same thing Google Ads is doing with you with optimization score. Google knows that the last thing that you want to do is give it more money, right? The last thing you want to do is pay for ads. So the last thing you want to do is pay even more for ads, especially ads that might not be working as well as you want. So what Google Ads has done is they've invented these quality recommendations or things that will increase your optimization score. So stuff like they'll tell you that um, if you opt into the search partner network, then you'll get a higher optimization score. What they don't tell you is that opting into the search partner network is actually going to increase the likelihood of bot traffic on your ads because your ads are not being shown on the Google search engine, they're actually being shown on other search engines that are basically foreign search engines, not Google itself. The other thing they tell you to do is they tell you all the time how you're limited by budget, limited by budget, but if you really think about it logically, if you have a business that's losing money, what you want to do is focus on cost control. You don't want to go out there and spend more money on that business. It doesn't make sense. It's not something that's logical to do. But what Google does is they tell you that your ads are limited by budget so that you think, oh, if I spend more, there's a chance that I might get a sale or there's a chance that I might get an extra customer. And what happens is you end up spending more and more and more and not seeing any benefit whatsoever. If this has ever happened to you, let me know down below in the comment section. And last but not least, what they also do is, you'll see this all the time, is they tell you to switch to an automated bidding strategy. Now, an automated bidding strategy is a good idea, but if you have no conversion data on your ads, or if your ads are not making any money yet, then it might also be a bad idea. And here's a fun fact for you. If you still trust Google, and if you still think that optimization score is good for you, notice the fact that the average cost per click for retailers over the past five years in Google Ads has increased by about 40 to 50%. Not only that, but the average CPC across all industries has increased by 13% year over year. Google has also been found to manipulate the auction so that it looks like you're bidding against people and those people are paying real high for ads, but what people are actually doing is nothing because there's no competition. Google is artificially just inflating what your CPC should be so that it can increase its revenue over time. 
Now, this is super scary stuff, I know, but it's happening. And this is why if you talk to most pros, most people who have been doing this for years, we completely disregard optimization score. All right, so you're probably thinking, okay, Mr. Google Ads guy, all of this sounds well and good, but if I'm not supposed to focus on optimization score, what am I actually supposed to focus on? Well, I want to teach you this very simple concept that I teach all my students in my Google Ads course. It's called money in and money out. I want you to imagine that these are your Google Ads. And what I'm gonna do is I am just gonna make a couple of holes and as you can see, we've got a leaky Google Ads campaign. Now, this is your money. Now, what most of you guys are doing is you're pouring more and more money into an ads account that's not, huh, that's cold, that's not actually producing any results. And what happens is all of your money is just running out and you're not getting any sales whatsoever. So what I want you to do is focus on your cost per conversion and getting that one metric as low as possible. And uh, yeah, I think I am going to have to change my genes for the next part of this video. See you now. now. Okay, so, this chair is so wet. Okay, so some of you guys have the opposite problem where your ads don't have any holes, they're not leaking any money, but it's not like your ads are making a fantastic amount of money either. So I want you to imagine that these are your ads, as you can see, there's no holes, but these are all the potential sales that your ads are getting. And you'll notice one thing, you're gonna sell, you're gonna sell some more, you're gonna sell some more, and you're gonna start losing sales because your ads are not optimized. Oh, messed up my jeans again. Your ads are not optimized to scale. Oh, I need to go change jeans again. All right, so got new pairs of jeans again. All right, so what is the point that I'm trying to make with all of these analogies? I'm trying to show you that you can't just focus on your optimization score. You can't just focus on recommendations from Google Ads. You actually need to look at your key performance indicators in your business and you need to focus on the metrics that matter. Not the metrics that Google Ads tells you matter, the actual metrics that moves the needle forward for your business. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a couple of stats up on the screen, a couple of metrics that you can focus on. And what I want you to do is pause the screen so that you can see all of these and I want you to work on these if you wanna scale. All right, so now that we've talked about optimization, there's still one crucial piece of the puzzle that's missing and it's a very important thing to do before you even start with this whole optimization thing. And that's what I'm gonna talk about in the next section. So back in the days, what we used to do is we used to just optimize our campaigns, to be honest with you. You can get away with just optimizing your campaigns. You would get a very low CPC. I remember the CPCs used to be as low as seven cents, 15 cents back in the days. We used to get conversions for like $2 each, but that is not the world of Google Ads anymore. Now, you have a lot more competition these days and you have a lot more competition following the best practices these days. So not only are you gonna have to optimize your ads, but more importantly, you're gonna have to optimize your offer. Now, I've broken this down into a six-step process. And the first thing you wanna do is you wanna clarify. So you wanna make it very clear and very simple and easy for someone to understand who your ad is for and who your ad is not for. Now you might be saying, hey Devin, I'm an accountant and I can basically serve everyone, but when you really drill down into your customer list, you might notice that you only serve dentists or you only serve six and seven figure businesses. And it's important for you to say that on your ad copy so that somebody knows exactly who you are and what you do before they click on your ad and before they cost you any money by clicking on the ad that they know they're not qualified for. The second thing you wanna do is you wanna really develop some good creatives. What I mean by that is your ads need to look good and you also need a landing page that says the right things in the right places. Something that I find a lot of entrepreneurs struggle with. 
The next thing you want to do is go into cost control mode. So you want to make sure that you are saving costs by implementing the right settings with your Google ads. And number four, this is actually going to lead you to the cash flow stage where you actually start seeing money and start seeing some return with your Google ads, which will then give you confidence and then give you the ability to optimize your ads without worrying about the money, right? And I've developed this strategy. I've been working on this for the past seven years and I've worked with entrepreneurs all over the world. Um, I think we're almost up to 100 entrepreneurs that we've helped with this simple formula. Now I'm going to be doing a full deep dive into this roadmap and I'm going to show you every single thing that you need to do at every single stage. I'm also going to be setting up worksheets and checklists so you know exactly what you need to do to level up your ads and get the very best out of it. And you can find that masterclass in my Google Ads community called the Feedback Circle. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a link in the description below. This could be exactly what you need to level up your ads. We do weekly coaching calls where you can meet me and literally ask me anything over a Zoom call. We do a landing page roasts, we do memes, we do a whole bunch of cool and interesting stuff in there. So if you're interested to find out how you can really get your ads up there and do exactly what the pros do, make sure you check it out at the link below. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. What I want you to do is like, subscribe and share with a friend if you really, really liked it. And if you want to see a video of me cloning myself to explain bidding strategies in Google Ads, then I want you to click on this link over here. See you next time.